Okay, today we are checking out a 1990 Gibson Firebird and we're going to be polishing the frets. This guitar has been in the case for 34 years. It still has the plastic on the pickguard, which is insane. A private collector bought this in 1990 and it basically has stayed under the bed and in the case since then, which is incredible. You can see there's no fret wear at all on here and the frets are like brand new but they have oxidation on them which is totally normal that's uh that build up happens just from any kind of metal that sits and doesn't like you can see some right there and uh, no big deal really you could still play this that way but you might feel that when you're bending and stuff like that and these frets just need a good polishing so today we are going to be using the D'Addario Planet Waves fret polishing system. There's a bunch of systems out there and products you can use, and truth be told, they're all great. But this is just so basic and easy to use, and I've used it numerous times through the years. And it's been around quite some time now, as all the Dario products have been pretty much. And they're time-tested and approved. And uh, you can kind of see right there what the directions are. Choose the correct fret slot, narrow or jumbo, from the template built into this package. Slide the template in place so that the fret to be polished is exposed and the fingerboard is covered. Polish each fret to desired shine. Repeat on all frets. This is a brand new pack. It's got the template and the papers in there. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I was polishing another guitar earlier and there's plenty of room left on this paper that we can use. And here's the system that you can see. So you just cut that right off. Here's the un uncut one, of course, but just cut this right off of the package and this goes right over your fret depending on what you need. So you can kind of see right there the jumbo is a little bit too big and the narrow is pretty much a perfect fit so that's what we're going to be using. Uh, first thing I want to do is we're going to tape off our pickups though. Not a whole lot of extra stuff flying around here but keep in mind these are magnetic so anything that might come off of here that could fly in is going to be drawn to them right away. That's probably not going to happen with something like just a fret polishing, but hey, it never hurts, so I'm going to go ahead and tape those up just to be safe. All right, so I'm going to be using the blue scotch tape. It's real low tack from 3M. I've used this for years. I'd recommend getting a roll of this. It's just great stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and, like we said, just throw some tape right over the top of these pickups just so that anything that does happen to come off won't go right onto the pickup. That's pretty much good to go right there. You don't have to get crazy and, you know, be pushing it down or anything like that. We just want them covered. Chances are the uh, bridge pickup here is really not going to get anything. But, hey, like we said, better to be safe than sorry. So I'm just taping these up to be on the safe side. And let's get started here. Okay, so let's get into it here. Like we said, we've got our template. We're just going to put that narrow right over the slot there. That protects the rest of the fingerboard. And uh, like I said, just real easy to use. You want to take the darker side here. You can see the difference. And uh, just let's find an area here that hasn't really been used. And we're just going to hold our template down and just go right onto that fret and polish away just like that. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit of pressure and go right across it and you can see, you know, the tarnish and the oxidation that's coming up here. And then just pretty much go right in a row. We're going to go on to fret number two. These ones up here aren't really too bad. Anyway, this one has some brown on it that you can see and it's instantly gone going right across there. Those frets are shining right away as well. That one too had some brown gone right away just awesome awesome stuff here from D'Addario okay I kind of moved the camera here so we can get into the next frets that are coming up so pretty much all these have a little bit of oxidation on them some more than others but I mean you can just kind of tell looking at it like that one's got brown on it big time and I'm just gonna rub this 
right across here until that fret is polished and shining and the brown is gone and off to the next one if you don't do this again the guitar is gonna play but you're probably gonna feel that when it you know when you're bending and stuff like that and uh truth be told a lot of this will wear off the more you do play but uh stuff like this could take some time to wear away and like i said during all that time you're gonna feel it and there's just really no reason for that with the Dario fret polishing kit here it just makes it so easy to do and it uh, just takes a few minutes and it's definitely worth it it's worth it to kind of do this periodically anyways um you know anything on guitars that are metal and whatnot like the frets and other parts you know oxidize with time and you definitely feel that obviously frets are a big part of playing because you're on them all the time <laughs> so you definitely want to kind of keep that in mind and you know polish these up every once in a while it's certainly not a bad thing to do okay guys so there we go look at that nice and shiny those frets are all cleaned up and polished now and shining like brand new some of this stuff was really deep on here like this one and i went over it a few times and but that's okay again that's going to just wear off with play but that shining and it's just been on there for so long it's kind of part of the fret at this point but it's nice and smooth and my finger glides right across it you won't even notice that when strings are on and you're playing and uh, like i said it's just incredible these are shining and nice and smooth and that's how we want them all thanks to the D'Addario fret polishing system and our friends at D'Addario Planet Waves. Great, great stuff. So pick this up. Real simple to use. You got the template. You can see there all the oxidation and gook that came off there from polishing. And uh, that template is still good. Like I said, we can use this again. So you get a pack of these. And, uh, you know, you have five sheets of paper in there, and it's going to last you a long, long time. So great value, great bang for the buck, and we thank our friends at D'Addario and Planet Waves. Thanks for checking in today, you guys. Please comment below if you have any questions. Please hit that subscribe button and help me out. You know, I appreciate it. Find me on Facebook at Todd BB Music. And we will see you all again. Watch out for the review of this awesome unplayed 1990 Firebird coming your way real soon. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon. Stay safe and love your dogs. Take care.